Hello everybody and welcome back to another Heyday video. So today what I thought I would do is show you how to set up a new farm and save it with a supercell ID because this is going to be the beginning of my brand new farm that I'll be starting from scratch and I'll be documenting the process in videos to show you how to progress through the game and when new things unlock for lower levels because there's just so much in this game so I thought I would document the process make a little mini series about it and I thought that I would start with how to actually set up the farm because there can sometimes be a lot of confusion surrounding how the supercell ID works so if you are brand new to Heyday um, and you've never played the game before when you first download the app this should be the screen that you see so if I press play without supercell ID it will give you a brand new farm and then yep you just click OK agree to the terms of service so it's given you a brand new farm and Mr. Wicker is going to come and walk you through how to get started. So this is basically the tutorial at the beginning of the game. So howdy, I'm Mr. Wicker and I'll help you get started at your new farm. So he will walk you through how to harvest your crops, which I already know how to do because I've played the game, but it's good for those new players who don't really understand um, to be shown how to do it. So if you just tap on the field, Harvest the crops, there we go, easy peasy. And now he's going to show us how to plant the crops. So if you tap on the field, then I've got the wheat there. So if I just drag it down over the top of the fields, there we go. And normally the wheat will take two minutes to grow, um, but the, during the tutorial they want you to speed it up um, except it costs zero diamonds to do that so you can either speed it up for zero diamonds normally it would cost you diamonds or you can wait the two minutes I'm just gonna wait the two minutes because mr. wicker wants me to paint the house so if I tap on the house and paint it white there we are all that lovely XP and now we've got to paint the barn I don't know about you, but I find doing this really, really satisfying. Like the painting process. And then paint the silo. There we go. And now he wants to introduce some animals to our farm. So if I tap on the white sheet there, and I've got a chicken pen. So now it shows you how to purchase the animals. So if I go to the shop and then you can see the chickens there costing 10 coins so if I drag it down there there's one there's two three okay he only wants me to start with three chickens okay now he's showing us how to feed the chickens so if you tap on there and drag the feed over the top of the chickens there we go now the eggs normally take 10 minutes to produce so this time he wants us to speed it up but Again, it would normally cost diamonds, but because this is the tutorial part of the game, it won't cost me any diamonds, which is great. Because for this farm, I'm going to make it a free to play farm. So I'm not going to purchase any diamonds with real money like I've done on my other two farms. So this farm will be a free to play farm. And then if you collect the eggs, there we go. And I've leveled up to level two. So I've unlocked corn, the bakery, the bread, and I've gotten a little bit of money as well, which is super, super awesome. And we have a visitor. Tap him to see what he has to say. Howdy, I'm Mike and I run the old mill near the town. What's the name of this lovely farm of yours? Now, I asked you guys on Facebook for some farm suggestions because I didn't know what I wanted to name this farm. And courtesy of Lynn Stillwell. She's the one who gave me the idea for this. So I am going to name my farm. Oops. There we go. Oopsie Daisy. There we are. Thank you very much, Mike. Okay. And now he wants us to buy a bakery. 
So if we tap on the shop icon there, there we go. We've got a bakery for 20 coins. I can afford that. So I'm going to drag it down, pop it here. And I'm just going to wait the 10 seconds for it to build. There we go. And that this beautiful little present like um, image means that the machine is ready. So if I tap on that, and now I've got a beautiful new bakery that I can start making some bread in. So I was gonna show you how to make the bread. You literally just tuck the machine and then drag it down. There we go. And again, speed it up. So the bread will take five minutes um, to uh, make. So if I speed that up, I'm not gonna speed that up because it's gonna cost me a diamond. And I've leveled up to level three. That is super awesome. So I've got a feed mill a diamond and some fields. Yay. Happy animals make a happy farm. Make sure they never go hungry by building a feed mill. Okay, so if I tap on the shop, feed mill will cost you five coins. Let's bring that one down here. And he wants me to bring down the new fields as well. So let's do that one, two and three. Great. Okay, Mr. Wicker, you're a bit of a pain. Okay, well, we'll plant some corn and we'll just do some more wheat as well. And we've got another visitor here. I wonder what she would like. Okay. Is that wonderful smell coming from over here? Oh, but where are my manners? My name is Joan. Hi, Joan. Um, okay, she wants my bread, so you can either say no, sorry, and not give her the bread. You can say yes, have my bread, or wait a moment if you don't have enough, or you just want to think about it. I'm just going to give her the bread because it'll give me 11 coins, and I don't need the bread at this point in the game. So yes, here you go. And you also get 5 XP for that as well. All right, thank you, Mr. Wicker, for your uh, constant... Um, input in telling me how to play the game thank you okay so and the feed mills ready so we'll tap on that there we go and I've leveled up to level four that is super awesome thank you very much and the truck comes in at level four our beautiful red yellow and green truck so this means that you can do truck orders so beep beep the delivery truck has arrived get ready for a flood of orders so if you tap on the truck order board here you have a whole bunch of orders that come up so I can do that one two eggs off we go and in one of the newer updates they've made the truck go a lot faster than it used to be it used to be quite slow which is great so where's he gone there it is coming down the drive back to the board oops what did I just do there okay that's funny I don't know why I did that okay and there we go Oh, look, the kids from the kindergarten sent you a thank you note. Oh, that's nice. I don't think I've seen that before. That's pretty cool. I'm going to screenshot that one. Okay, and then you can keep doing that. Okay, I'm going to stop there now that I'm on level four and show you how to save your farm with the Supercell ID if you have not done it before. So basically for each farm that you have, you need one email address. So one email address per farm. So my big farm, my level 76, is on one email address. My other baby farm, my level 23, is on another email address. And this farm I'm going to set up with a new email address. So I will show you how to do that. So if you tap on the settings up here, and you can see there it says Supercell ID is disconnected. So if you tap on that, it will walk you through what the Supercell ID is. So this is not just for Heyday, by the way, it's for all Supercell games. So next, next, you don't really need to worry about that. Okay, so to set up 
a soup cell ID for this farm, you need an email address. So if you go into your game and you tap the settings icon in the top left hand corner and then you will see there that it says the supercell ID is disconnected. So if you tap on that, it will take you to this screen here. So you can either log in if you already have a farm saved with a different supercell ID and email address or if you don't have one saved, you click the register now um, at the bottom of that screen and then it will ask you to create a new supercell ID with a valid email address. So then you basically just put in your email address there, you have to put it in twice and then you can click the receive news and updates from supercell and then press register and make sure you enter your email address correctly as well. So then press register then what it will do is it will send a six digit verification code to your email address. So you need to go in your email and you will see an email from Supercell that has the six digit number in it. And then you just enter that number here and then you press submit. And then that's all you need to do to set up a new farm. So then you just press OK and your farm and your Supercell ID are now saved with this farm here. And you can make as many farms as you want, as long as you have different email addresses for each farm. So you can see there it says Heyday is connected. And you can log out of the Supercell ID and log back into um, your other farms. If you have multiple farms on one device, it's very, very simple. And there we go. That is how you set up a Supercell ID for a new farm. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, I hope it answered some of your questions and this is the beginning of my little mini series I will continue throughout this year documenting this process of starting a brand new farm from scratch. So thank you everybody for tuning in and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.